I like the spicy combination of the salsa. I think that brought a nice acidity to the plate. The little spiced chickpeas with the, with the coconut milk and the nuts were quite rich and it needed the acidity from that salsa to balance it out so that it didn't become too heavy a plate. It was a substantial and well-balanced vegetarian meal. It's a balanced plate, it's nutritious and I hope I've fulfilled the brief today and I hope I go through to the top six. Thank you, Taryn. You, sir. Thank you. What you have is something I fell in love with, shira wat, um, mm. served with the injera, pineapple, tomato and coriander salsa, and some lightly wilted spinach with some spice, and an almond and chickpea and coconut milk. I don't want to call it a curry, because it's not a curry. Spiced concoction. It's a spiced concoction that tastes really nice. Thanks, Taryn. My Thanks, pleasure. Taryn. Thank you. I'm confident, but there's a sense of doubt in me. Not sure if I've done enough. Should we have a taste? Sure. Very colourful. Yes. Colourful presentation. Obviously, a nice little combination that we can put on with it. Yusuf, what do you think? Uh, this is uh, quite good, actually. I'm especially impressed with the shurawat. It's a unique Ethiopian food, and uh, to make it taste authentic is very difficult. The spinach is a little bit undercooked, in my opinion. The chickpeas are very good. Very good for athletes. Mm -hmm. High protein. The injera, obviously, as a superfood, it has uh, many nutrients. That's perfect for athletes. Haile, what do you think? I'm surprised about the shiro. <laughs> if someone eat this, you know, just, uh, they can have everything in once. Vitamin, protein, carbohydrate, iron, all kind of uh, minerals. It's a, it's a really a wonderful combination. Presentation, lots of color on the dish, and he's taking good care in making sure that we get the sweet, sour, spicy, a bit of a zing in the spinach and in the injera. As an athlete, you know, just if you propose me what I eat, I want to eat that. Fantastic. Nice. I really hope that they see a little bit of me in the plate that I will be presenting to them. Thank you very much for this opportunity to be in your presence. Um, I've chosen today a whole wheat pasta with quite a hearty, spicy vegetable stew, a chickpea paste crostini at the top, just the flavours and the colours of Ethiopia I wanted to bring in my meal because I really fell in love with your country and I hope it shows in my meal. Thank you. Thank you, Corinne. Thank you. Thank, you, Thank you so much. Enjoy the meal. Certainly a nice hearty plate of pasta. Let's tuck in, guys. OK. Kylie, what do you think of the plate? What I see, what I eat, what I test, it's really good, especially for the athlete. We need more carbohydrate. And uh, bread, the macaroni, excellent. I think a nice combination of carbohydrate to vegetables to the pulses with the lentils. But I'm a little concerned about if those beans have been cooked through enough. They, they were a bit firm for me, even though the flavours were there, and a little touch of sweetness was just out of place in the combination of flavours. Josef, is this the kind of plate of food you'd serve to your, your athletes? It's something we, we, we would, yeah. But uh, vegetarian is very challenging to get uh, everything you need as an athlete. Someone that runs a marathon would need quite a bit of carbohydrate. Uh, somebody that's running, let's say, 1,500 metres, or 800 meters would need a lot less uh, carbohydrate and way more protein. So the balance depends on what kind of distance you're doing. This is more for the middle distance. Okay. This will be the first time I've ever met someone that accomplished within any sort of sporting realm. I hope that he agrees with my nutrient content. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'm Carmeny. 
the one thing I've noticed about being in Ethiopia is that there's a similarity between Ethiopian cuisine and Indian cuisine. I think that of vegetarian cuisine, Italian and Indian are probably my two favorites. And so I've decided to go with Indian today because it's part of my South African Indian heritage. I've done three different curries. There's a spinach curry, um, squash with a bit of cashew nuts on the top, there's beans as well, which are quite spicy, but um, I think those are going to be great for uh, long, you know, longevity with your energy. Um, and then the chapatis have got sesame seeds in them as well. And that's always good for iron and protein. Fantastic. Thanks, Kami. Thank, Thank you, Kami. I'm hoping to live another day to cook in the MasterChef kitchen. <laughs> Let's have a taste, guys. Taste. Kylie, what do you think of the taste? Excellent. Ah, amazing. Everything, the spinach, uh, the chapati, the protein there, the sauce and everything. Yeah. Ah, excellent taste. Ah, it's delicious. <laughs> so it's a meal you would eat gladly? No question. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely a flavor explosion, uh, for sure. Uh, not only it's nutritious, but also very eatable. Uh, the spinach, a little bit too spicy, I find it. In terms of presentation, the creativity is not there, I don't see it. Uh, it's very simple. But in terms of taste, I'm surprised. Yusuf, Haile, thank you for joining us today and tasting what the contestants have produced for us. It's been enlightening to have you guys tell us the nutritional value and whether these type of dishes would work for an athlete that's about to embark on a, uh, a race. We appreciate your input. Our pleasure. Thank you. Can I allow to finish before I leave? No, please, definitely. please. With pleasure. Most definitely. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy, huh? <laughs> Why not? Kamni, Karen, and Tyron. In today's elimination challenge, you had to create a vegetarian dish worthy of Ethiopia's world-class long-distance athletes. A bit nervous. Whatever the outcome, I'm happy to and, and proud to have served that dish to them. Our esteemed guests, it has been an honor to have you at our table dining with us. We really are honored. Thank you very much. We really enjoyed it. <laughs> Wonderful dish. Thank you so much. You. What an honor. Thank you. Thank Just you. saying goodbye to these two special people was such a privilege and honor today. Karen. I think that the dish that you presented to us, portion-wise, the pasta was a bit too much. You chose beans that were soaked, and under the conditions that you were cooking in, you needed to have them longer on the stove, and it was a little bit undercooked for me. Yusuf Kibur said that your meal was for middle-distance runners because of the portion of the carbohydrates and the proteins. It is a meal that he would gladly serve here at the Yaya village. My dish is actually worthy of being served at this renowned athletics club. Taran, I thought your dish was brave, considering the fact that we had some Ethiopian guests who were going to, to talk about it and give us feedback. I think it worked well with the injera. I like the spicy combination of the salsa. I think that brought a nice acidity to the plate. The little spiced chickpeas with the, with the coconut milk and the nuts were quite rich and it needed the acidity from that salsa to balance it out so that it didn't become too heavy a plate. It was a substantial and well-balanced vegetarian meal. Carmony, Yusuf did mention that on your presentation it was very simple. I tend to agree. The different components that you had on your dish were great. Your local squash was light and cooked through properly. The spinach, well seasoned. It was a delightful dish. Now I understand how drained everyone else felt when you'd go from challenge to elimination, then back to another challenge. Carmony, Tyron, and Karen. There are no losers in today's MasterChef race. But, like all athletes, on any given day, someone is always outperformed by somebody else. 
the nature of the race, the nature of the MasterChef competition. Tough brief today. There's a sense of doubt in me. Not sure if I've done enough. MasterChef, yes, it's about how you can cook, but it's also about maintaining a level of mental stability throughout it. The person being eliminated from MasterChef today is Car. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry, it's fine. I am number seven out of thousands of people that auditioned for MasterChef, and I'm proud of myself. You guys are like five superstars, and there's no international chef in this world that can come to you guys. No one. The world is yours to take. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. I'm sure your family's proud of you. I'm going to be my baby's birthday. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> and I'm baking his cake. Yay! Cool. That's the spirit. Karen. My sweet dog. <laughs>